Hey friends, I'm here to talk about walking. There are a few good reasons why walking is number one on my top 10 functional movement list. The first being that it is fairly simple to access. Most of us um, with working limbs uh, can walk. What I want to bring our attention to is how sometimes we can lose access to the mobility of our pelvis when we walk and that contralateral movement, meaning our upper and lower halves are kind of doing the opposite. So for instance, as my right hip comes forward when I move, my right shoulder should be moving back and my left shoulder should be coming forward. So we actually access this beautiful rotation in the spine and, and also this kind of pendulum swinging of the pelvis. So I wanna warn you, you might feel silly when you do this, but it's all in this effort to kind of restore the natural primal movement of walking, which really is this kind of full body, um, beautiful dance. So I wanna start by breaking it down into the most simple um, steps, no pun intended. So you'll start by standing, feet underneath your hips, and don't worry about you know where your toes are pointing and all of that. It, it doesn't really matter because we're gonna we're gonna move. Um, but I want you to bend your right knee, and as you bend your right knee, notice how the weight starts to shift into your left leg and how your left hip kind of swings like a pendulum over to the left. And then we're just gonna reverse that. So start to press into your right foot as we begin to straighten your right knee, the left knee bends, the pendulum of our hips swing over to the right. So that's the movement to start. And I just want you to kind of, you know, really let your hips swing from side to side like a pendulum in response to the shifting of the weight. The shifting of the weight is in response to the bending and the straightening of your knee. So that's just, that's kind of, you know, how we're starting, just familiarizing yourself with that pendulum swing of, of the hips. And again, it may feel awkward, um, but we're just exaggerating it to really give your nervous system a chance to restore this, this freedom in in the hips and pelvis and then we're going to add on so once this becomes familiar the next time you bend your right knee and the weight shifts into that left leg can you grow so light on that right foot that you just step it forward as your right knee steps forward and foot steps forward the right shoulder goes back and then start to shift the weight so we start to straighten the right leg the left knee bends and we step the left foot forward. Again, shift the weight. Left shoulder goes back, left knee straightens, right knee bends, it's so light, it steps forward, yeah? And then just see if you can do that slowly at first and, and really pay attention to the swinging of the hips and that movement of shoulder moving in the opposite direction of your hip on that side. And again, it might feel weird. It might feel awkward, but we're just bending and straightening the knee while we shift a hip forward and the shoulder goes back. And then see if you can um, retain that movement, that swinging of the hips and the rotation in the spine um, while you maybe take away some of the exaggeration. And just play with that. Play with that. Have fun with that. Maybe even move backwards and forward. You might even take the tempo up a little bit and find yourself cha 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 -ing. So all in good fun with my number one functional movement, which is walking. Have fun with that, you guys.